there. Welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Nikki and I work as an artist. This month I had quite a lot of struggles with being an artist. Sometimes I felt like it's just too much of an overwhelming feeling of doing everything alone and trying to make a living out of it, working through things, kind of forcing yourself to be creative, which just kills the creativity. So I decided to take it a bit slower and I whipped out my oil paints that I haven't used for super long and I just decided to go for a very, very simple object, a pair of cherries. I used to paint a lot of fruits and I always loved it. There is something about having a very simple, straightforward object to paint that makes my brain more focused and calm. And I also find that a lot of times I watch videos, um, Netflix or whatever TV shows I listen to music while I create and my brain just felt like it got overwhelmed, like it just had a short circuit in a way because it was, there was just so much information coming into it. So I actually decided to just sit in quiet and make this cherry painting fully focusing on the painting process, not overthinking, having a reference image and just focusing on it one brush at a time. And it was super beautiful. I recommend it to everyone and anyone who feels overwhelmed by the world. I also really like how it turned out. It's very cute and I have a lot of ideas about paintings that I want to make and I want to get back to oil painting so this was also a very good practice for that. If you have seen my previous video, you know that I was in Hungary for a while, I had a minor hand surgery and it was so beautiful, the weather was amazing, it was sunny most of the time and I was there with my boyfriend, visiting family. I decorated my mom's office from the outside, which was really fun and it's surprising how a little pop of color can make everything feel so much brighter. We also went to Lake Balaton to visit a friend who makes these amazing ceramic mugs and I got to also try my hand out in ceramics and it was so cool. I really recommend her if you want to get some really beautiful lamps, I'll link her in the description. <laughs> After getting back to Berlin, I felt a bit lost. I started a giant painting, I didn't feel it at all, I was just staring at it. I tried to sketch a lot, it didn't turn out so great. It's just not satisfying, I feel like I still need to find my medium for the sketchings. So my mom, as an angel she is, she ordered me a lot of pastries and you might notice that I love a good emotional support pastry. They're just so yummy. I'm gluten intolerant so I don't have a lot to choose from and oh my god my freezer and fridge is fully stocked with yummy pastries and I'm so happy about it. The next day I went shopping because I had some workshops scheduled and guys, everything is so freaking expensive, it's crazy. So I got a lot of paper and of course a little snack for myself.
Starting the creative process with an emotional support pastry became quite a standard for me nowadays. And here's my second one. I just couldn't get enough of it. I finished that giant box way too fast. <laughs> I decided to just paint something from my sketchbook that I already had in it for quite a while and I wanted to explore it a bit more. There were just some little birds and I was not too precious about it. I just kind of wanted to get some things out of my head and, you know, try out how it actually would look on paper. I have these new acrylic oil pastels and they are so smooth and so nice and they just have this pearl shine to them which I really enjoy. I don't know if it fits this drawing necessarily but um, yeah I just really like working with them so I was like it doesn't even matter, the outcome doesn't even matter here, I just wanted to sketch and paint and you know have fun with it and fun I did have because these ones are just amazing, they go everywhere, I don't like that they crumble, I really like the crumbly pieces on the painting but I don't like how it goes everywhere and it's really hard to clean. That week I was set to have two bookbinding workshops and there's one that I was holding for the first time. It's for a full leather soft binding sketchbook. Uh, you might have seen my video when I first made this one, if not I'll link it up here. And I was preparing for it quite a lot. I really love the look of this sketchbook and I was quite excited to teach how to do this. So the situation is that all of my workshops for today were postponed because so many people cancelled. Honestly, I am a bit bummed out. I feel like I still haven't learned how to deal with these things so much because it happens a lot working with people that they cancel and I put so much energy into these workshops and preparing and you know blocking my day and then I had two scheduled so I just found myself not knowing what to do. It's kind of a bummer because um, it just sucks up so much energy and I think I need to learn how to deal with that much more because right now it just um, it's not going to be sustainable for the future, that's for sure, if I um, approach them in this way. I, I understand that I took up on this job where I am working with people and there's a really nice side to it that I actually really like um, having the workshops with people and having to interact with them. But there's already this part of uncertainty in being an artist and that's already a bit daunting and then there's this other side of uh, uncertainty coming from the people who are maybe attending your, your workshops. A lot of people told me maybe I should just make an online workshop where I pre-record it and people can buy it and that's a great idea and I've been thinking about putting together little bookbinding boxes with all the supplies and just sending them out and you know people who buy that can access also the video of how to make that and I think that's a really nice idea but I also really like um, working with people and meeting people. I do not want to give up that part. I think for me it's very important to have that social aspect of my life.
Yeah, I've been just thinking about that and... Uh... So today I am painting something, I'm not really sure, it's probably a flower still. I use acrylics for it and I'm not really sure where I'm going with it, I just uh, decided to, you know, take it easy for today. I think it helps a lot to paint things that are graspable and I also use um, reference photos for it and I don't really have much of a purpose with it. I find it very um, relaxing, I guess. Yeah. I decided to spend the day with painting something very low effort and no pressure piece and I'm not saying it was so low effort, I'm just saying that it somehow just flew out of me so easy, all the colors and the main concept. It was just really nice and relaxing to paint it. I usually don't paint flower bouquets because I feel like it might be a bit too mainstream, I see it everywhere. But then I thought, why not? I feel like painting it and I put my emotions in it and my imagination in it. So it is going to be my unique art and it doesn't always need to be one of a kind. I put a little note in it and I was not sure what to write inside. And I just decided that I'm gonna let the painting tell me. And I'm just going to use my experience while painting to put a message at the end. I really loved the combination of all these colors and I also really really liked the background. I used neon paints and I think I'm so in love with neon paints now. I don't think I'm gonna stop using them. And then I was thinking, oh, but maybe I don't want this neon background. Maybe I want a different one. And I never ever use purple. I don't even own anything purple, I feel. But that day I felt like I might want purple, oh but it might ruin the painting and then I thought why not, why should I just not try it out, it's okay, this painting is just for me to have fun and that's, the, and that's its only purpose and I loved it, this purple is just so beautiful, it doesn't super translate in camera here but it's just this nicest creamiest purple you can imagine and and then I thought why not it's such a perfect message because there's so many times when people tend to say no to things no to activities because they might be afraid that it's gonna mess things up or they just are afraid of the unknown and I'm thinking why not what's the worst that could happen oh maybe I have a bad painting but it still brings me so much joy and if something brings me so much joy why should I not do it and so I put it on and I'm so happy with it I really love it my favorite art pieces that I created actually come from times when I had no expectations no plans and I was just having the time of my life creating them and it really translates so my best advice for you would be just to have fun don't be afraid to try new things and take some risks. I hope that you're gonna take the why not mentality with you and enjoy the rest of your week. If you like this video, please give it a like or a nice comment below or subscribe to see more stuff. And don't forget to hydrate. Thanks for watching. Bye.